Um, good evening, everyone. Um, thank you all so much for being here. Um, I was just um, enthralled by these comments because, first of all, I decided that maybe it just always takes that long to write a book. And I, 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 since this has been going on, I think, how can there be any books if it takes this long? <laughs> so it was nice to know that that was extraordinary. Um, but it is, it is an extraordinary endeavor in every kind of way. And it is, I can't tell you um, what an honor it is to be here tonight. Uh, really to pay tribute to these two fine souls who really are extraordinary people and authors um, and who have written an extraordinary book. Um, I had the pleasure of reading many chapters of this book over a year ago. Um, and there is a way in which Elaine and Stan tell the history of California, civil liberties in California, by telling the stories of the real people. Um, not only telling their stories, but telling the stories of the real people who had the courage uh, to stand up to fight for civil liberties at these most important moments. And Stan and Elaine um, have captured all of those stories in the most meaningful way um, and have had real, took, it took real courage to do that and to take the years of, of uh, struggle and, um, and work to make that happen and to make those stories come to life. And they've, they've come to life in a way that will be meaningful to all of us who read it. And I think for generations of people to really understand um, the value and the significance of civil liberties and how it shaped the state. So um, it's an enormous gift, I think, for, for all of us. Um, but what I think about when I look around this room is when we talk about this book, talking about civil liberties by telling stories, um, you know, all of you, um, whether recently or as part of this history, um, have been a part of that history. You know, you have been a part of it in so many different ways um, as activists, as ACLU members, as lawyers, as leaders. Um, so you come into this room and you're a part of this history also in, in such an important way. And it, it's no wonder that you would be here to congratulate and to honor and to thank our dear friends for, for the gift they give us with this book. Um, and, and, and we're all a part of this history. And I, I'm certainly proud to be part of it. Um, I hate to single out one person, but I do need to do that uh, because there is one family that's here tonight that is such a significant part of this history and we are so honored that they're here and that is Karen and Catherine Korematsu who graces with the continues um, to keep, and, and Karen and Catherine both, but and Karen in particular is really spending her life um, both enhancing and leading um, the, the, the job of keeping this legacy um, alive and well and vital um, in all our lives, what her dad did and what uh, Catherine's husband did and the importance to our history um, and the importance to all, the importance that it remains for all struggles for civil liberties um, even today. So I thank them very much for being here and, and all of you. Um, I guess I, I have two final comments I wanted to make. One, I just wanted to say that putting all of that aside and all of the, um, the way they told the story, and, and I guess to some degree, um, Malcolm said this, but I just want to say it again. What lots of people write history books, and they even have, you know, they have the academic credentials, and they do the research, and they do the work, and they, they bring that history along. And lots of people um, have even the right politics, and they bring the, the right political, um, perspective to that writing and it's meaningful. But Elaine and Stan bring a kind of compassion about those people. It's not just a story. It's a true compassion that just comes through in a remarkable way. And I know that you will all, as you read this book, um, that will become very clear to you. But again, that has meant so much to all of us. Um, so with that, um, I thought about, you know, offering a toast. And we would all like toast. I thought, well, not everybody will have a drink. And that felt really so traditional. So I thought instead, what we would do is that we would do kind of like a power to the people salute. <laughs> 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 I, I made up something. So, 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 so the book is, wherever there's a fight. So we'll say, we'll all say together, wherever there's a fight, wherever there's a fight, <laughs> justice shall prevail. Justice shall prevail. Wherever there's a fight, Wherever there is a fight, justice shall prevail.
Northern California. We are so, so very fortunate that he is that, and that is Abdi Sultani, who we can go. I think the first ever doctorate of civil liberties was by the ACLU of Northern California University. <laughs> Well, my dad is going to be so happy. You always wanted me to get a dime. <laughs>